Hello, I want to talk about your dog's behaviour and specifically why there is always a valid reason for your dog's behaviour in any given everyday situation. And I want to illustrate that with four questions beginning with am I? Now, there's always a valid reason for our dog's behaviour. Once we understand this, we then have an open mind. We're reconnected to our dogs because we're <clears throat> looking at life from our dog's perspective, especially in a training session or just a general everyday situation. But we're also then in a position to be seeking answers and seeing answers rather than creating problems by um, being emotionally disconnected from our dogs simply because we're expecting results. We have expectations. We want things to go this way. We want it to go our way. Um, our dog has to get it right straight away. But that depends on what we're doing. I mean, we're inherent to our dog's success. Um, and if we stop asking questions like, how do I get my dog to stop barking, jumping up on me, running up and down the fence line barking? Um, if we ask, why is my dog performing a behavior in a situation? What we're then doing is we're stepping right into the present moment and we're thinking consciously. And that means we're seeing fact and reality, not fiction. And that means that we won't be then judging and blaming our dog saying, oh, my dog's stubborn or naughty or untrainable or stupid or being dominant. I mean, these are sorts of things that are myths that are perpetuated about dogs. So the four questions, the, the four questions starting with am I relate to the behaviour that you are observing. And the first thing I would say would be the best question would be this one. Am I inadvertently teaching my dog to perform behaviours I don't want to see? So what I mean by that is, are you moving the goalposts? Is it okay for your dog to jump up, jump up on you when you're in the garden with your gardening clothes on that you don't mind getting dirty, but then it's not okay when you come home or when you've come back come back home you've gone upstairs gotten changed you're going out somewhere and you've got a pair of white trousers on for example and you don't want your dog jumping up on you now it's really confusing when we're moving the goalposts for our dogs like this saying it's okay in one situation but not another and also if we consider the breed of dog the size of dog i mean we accept smaller dogs doing that to us so so much more easily simply because they're not as heavy and um, they don't reach as high as, as larger breed dogs. But also, larger dogs that have got a little bit of energy behind them and they're jumping up to greet us can inadvertently cause us injury. They can particularly bowl smaller children over and indeed you know, adults, depending on the situation. Now, the second question that is a really good question, beginning with am I, is am I being consistent in the way that I'm responding to my dog? And what I mean by that is, are you focusing on saying yes to your dog? That's a good behaviour. I really like that behaviour. Um, are you rewarding your dog, saying yes to your dog for performing those behaviours that you want to see? I mean, that's fundamental in avoiding confusing and frustrating your dog. And when you're frustrating your dog, that means you could see an amplification of the undesirable behaviour that um, you're trying to redirect your dog away from and uh, help them to learn a new acceptable behaviour from your point of view, but also from their point of view where it's going to be one that they're going to be rewarded for that behaviour. The third question, beginning with am I, is am I being proactive in anticipating undesirable situations and then redirecting my dog towards a behavior that I want to see. So I can once again say yes and reward my dog for performing that desirable behavior. But when you're wanting, when you're wanting to redirect your dog to another behavior, it's important that you're redirecting your dog to something that's mentally beneficial from their point of view as well as emotionally satisfying. And things like providing them with food puzzle toys, things that get their nose working, those sorts of things, is going to be a productive way for your dog to spend energy 
and that's behaviour that's rewarding in itself because they're being provided with an opportunity to do a behaviour that they instinctively need to do as well as a behaviour that they do get a lot of emotional satisfaction out of. So the fourth question, beginning with am I, is, well, maybe this one should have been the first question, but it simply is, am I already rewarding my dog for the behaviours that I want to see, especially behaviour like calm behaviour, settling on their mat, just standing there looking at you, uh, sitting at the front door quietly, not being distracted or... Uh, responding to things or people going past. This is absolutely fundamental in helping to provide a framework and guidelines for your dog and help in establishing basic manners for your dog. And it's also really important because when we're providing a framework for our dogs that makes sense from their perspective, that means... It's consistent, reliable, predictable, but it also is a set of guidelines that are set around how dogs learn, which is by association and also via the consequences of their own actions. So by making the consequences pleasant for our dogs, for performing those behaviours that we want to see, our dogs will choose to perform those behaviours, those desirable behaviours that we'd like them to do, in similar situations into the future. So when we put these four questions together, they give us a really powerful package in helping our dogs to understand how we'd like them to behave in everyday situations. And it also makes us more aware about how we're responding and reacting to our dogs in everyday situations. So when we put these four questions together, we're being consistent, we're being reliable, and we're being predictable from our dog's perspective. And that is a very powerful concept because it is very much aligned with how dogs learn. And it will help your dog to be successful. But most importantly, it will help you to keep you and your dog reconnected. 